Hi, I'm Tom Munoz, and this is my brother Mario. And we are fourth generation wedding photographers. Um, currently, we own and operate Munoz Photography in South Florida. And this year, we were the highest awarded wedding photography studio internationally. Currently, we do over 300 weddings and events and over 2,000 portrait sessions a year. And one of the secrets that I would say that we have built our brand around um, is the secret of speed and versatility. Um, you know, for example, I don't know if you guys have ever been to Disney World, but if you've rode on Space Mountain, you've probably had your photo taken. And you're much more likely to purchase that photo on Space Mountain while you're in Disney than if you went home and looked at it online. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> so for us, we decided, you know, if we took that, that concept into our business and realizing that the quicker that we are able to showcase those images to our clients, the more excited they are and the more likely they are to invest and to spend more money, which as a professional photographer is our goal. Well, you know, currently in the world that we live, that we live in, immediate gratification um, is something that we're used to. And one of the ways that we've been able to build our brand uh, throughout the recent past is by sharing images quickly. And what we have found is... So to follow up with what he's saying, you know, as a wedding and event portrait photographers, uh, you know, one of the biggest things that I would say on average, you're sharing your images a week or so after the event. Um, in our humble opinion, you've already missed an opportunity at that point. Um, the quicker you're able to showcase those images, you know, if, if you're a bride and you just got married, you know, a week after the event, photos have already been posted of her wedding. So one of the things that we've taken advantage of is, is by sharing the images as quickly as possible. Uh, we were very fortunate enough to test this new app made by Sony called the Visual Story. And we feel that it's going to revolutionize the entire industry of professional photography because it gives you the opportunity to share your images, not a day or a week after the event, but even the same day of the event, where you could share those files with your clients. And for us, I think that that's something that's going to be incredible. Well, I think it's gonna be an amazing tool. Um, and going back to you know, a core, core values and how we feel we've been able to grow our business is speed and versatility. And this app gives us possibilities that we never thought possible before and we're really looking forward to share with you some of the features and how excited we are in incorporating this into our current business and our future growth. So a few of the topic points that we're gonna be discussing today regarding the new Visual Story app is one, gonna be the value of the app itself. Two, we're gonna go through and how, how it works and how it's set up. Three, we're also gonna discuss some of the benefits of the app, as well as four, we're gonna go through how we plan on utilizing this app in our business and in our personal lives today. Uh, and finally, how you guys can get the app yourself. So Tom's gonna go ahead and discuss uh, a little bit about the value of the app itself. So, uh, you know, when you talk about the value of the visual story, um, you know, being that it is so versatile, you know, we have a lot of applications that we can use this. Um, but the first thing we did is currently look at what we're doing and seeing how we can improve. So right now, we try to share images as quickly as we can after the event. But honestly, we can only really manage getting a handful of images to be able to share right away. And it takes us a week to two weeks to get the final set of images to our bride and grooms, which in an industry is a pretty quick turnaround. So when, when, when I started looking at the, like what this app could do, I was like, wait a minute, I can be at the wedding day itself. I can select or have someone select while I'm shooting or while my other photographers are shooting, all going to a centralized location that we can share images, tag them, create an online gallery at the event and share that with the bride and groom, along with, if that's not what we're doing, it gives us the ability to speed up our workflow. So I can, I can literally tag and rate these images and then be able to take that XMP information and apply it to our workflow now, that it's gonna give us the ability to incorporate this app into how we call and process our event images and share them. Yep, the possibilities are pretty endless. So uh, one of the things that I would love to know myself is, is how it works. So um, this is something that we are able to uh, demonstrate for you, uh, as well as Tom's gonna go through. He just recently had an event uh, this past weekend where he used the Visual Story app and sent the images to his smartphone and created a gallery from his, from his actual camera, so. Yeah, and um, which it's absolutely incredible. And, and what, was, what was so cool was being able to be at the event and photographing 
And when I was, when I reached in my pocket and looked at my phone in one of the downtime moments, I'm actually able to see these images live while they're being imported. And you're able to do that because of Sony's cameras have a built-in Wi-Fi and FTP. And FTP. It, so yeah. So okay. so the way so way that the way that it works is it incorporates the Wi-Fi and the FTP uh, capabilities of the Sony camera, and it integrates it with the app. And what that gives what that gives us the ability to do is really we can shoot live, see what we're getting as we do it, or if you know, we don't want to do that and we want to wait till we get to the reception or the cocktail hour, we can simply like go into the function and say, okay, send me all the images up to this point. Now, you know, how we're going to use this, you know, it's, it's mind boggling because we started thinking about all the different applications and how we can share images of the guests at the day of, and we'll get into a little bit of that. Um, One thing to touch on is the, the actual connectivity of the app is yes, you can utilize your smartphone, uh, but, but also a, an actual tablet and iPad. Um, so connecting to the Wi-Fi at a venue is, is how you'd be able to do this and, and upload extremely fast. But this, but Tom this weekend actually used an, an actual, his mobile hotspot, which is very exciting. Well, you know, um, I had a wedding in St. Augustine this past weekend and I, I literally just downloaded the app and we didn't, we had, we were going to be at so many different locations from a hotel room with the bride to a hotel room with the groom. And then we went to the actual ceremony itself which is in a cathedral. And then we went all around the city of St. Augustine and then back to the venue. So by the time I got back to the venue and the cocktail hour had started, I had the opportunity to connect my cell phone directly to the camera itself. And the way that that works is, is it utilizes the Wi-Fi and the FTP functions of our Sony camera. So as the image, so what we did was is when I connected to the camera, it gave me the ability to download all of the images up until that point. And I was shocked to see the speed that it was able to transfer those JPEGs directly to the camera while syncing uh, to a cloud. So just so that we're clear, so then you continue to photograph at the event and those images were automatically then imported to the gal to your online gallery. Correct, correct, correct. So while so while I was downloading the images, once it had downloaded the images and I was able to continue photographing, it continued to transfer those images to my cell phone. And you know, it's there's something cool about being able to see what you're doing like while it's happening. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that. And um, so you utilize only one out of the four features uh, of this. Like one, of, one of the way, four ways you can connect to it. Correct. So you connected using your, your personal phone because you didn't have a mobile, because you didn't have a, a mobile hotspot or a, a direct Wi-Fi link. But so you can connect one way is if the venue does have Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi, which will connect your camera as well as your mobile device. You can connect to a PC that does have Wi-Fi, a mobile hotspot, and then finally the fourth way is to your actual phone through your data itself. Um, you know, so once you do connect, then you are able to upload to your cloud and apply presets prior to the clients being able to see those photos. They'll already have a preset filter of your choice. Oh, not, not, not only that, it, what's really cool is, is you can apply hashtags already to the files themselves, getting ready for like social media marketing. Um, so really what you're doing is you're creating a, a, you know, a project for that individual wedding. Now, one of the other things that um, was, was interesting is you can connect more than one camera to this app. So you can have, so let's say you have this project for this bride and groom and you have multiple cameras at the event, you could literally transfer 5,000 images per camera to this app and it goes to the cloud and that person that on that phone or on that tablet is it not able just to see one camera, but all of them and start to apply editing, tags, rating them, that you're able to export that XMP information and incorporate it into your current workflow. I think I personally think that that is invaluable in itself because you know in a, in a digital world that's constantly changing and internet speeds are only becoming faster with 5G technology, um, being able to have an editor calling down the images of your event while you're still at your event to me, it would be fantastic. Um, well, and, and because you have different ratings, you it's not just a keep or not keep, you can keep for different applications. So let's say, okay, these are gonna be the ones that I'm gonna use for my Instagram story. So I'm gonna tag these one way. These are gonna be the ones that I'm gonna send to the vendors. 
right? Yeah. So, so, so you're saying that it, it allows you to tag different star ratings to the actual M XMP data. So if, right. so if at an event you prefer to uh, tag vendor files or tag for the album or have your, your colors just tag for, for the final delivery, it right. all can be done. That's yep. awesome. Well, um, I think that's... Well, and, and like, this it's mind blowing, but we can actually create a gallery at the wedding and share it with people that evening. That's impressive. So, so let's talk about a little bit about the exciting uh, features. I know that we talked about some of them of utilizing this app, but one of them beyond just the culling down of the images as well, is there some different features that we can even use this for? And, and one of the things that we were discussing uh, in our business was you know, utilizing possibly even for a mobile photo booth where you know, sending a photographer, you know, a, lot of, a lot of different photo booth companies, uh, especially nowadays, have, a, have pretty much a tablet that people tap and, and it'll, they can change their, they can upload and email themselves their picture. Uh, this is kind of taking a more professional route. And, and we discussed this with our company of being able to actually connect to this tablet where the bride and groom can share these, let's say, photo booth style images with their guests. Uh, perhaps if you didn't feel comfortable of uploading and sharing your, your 100 images with, of your creative shots, this could be a great photo booth option as well. Well, it, it, it's another revenue source and it makes an impact. Yep. And, and today, it, it, people want to be impressed and people are impressed by technology. And you know, you're right, use that nice little photo ring light. It's pretty, it'll give you a nice little file. But in all honesty, it ain't better than what they're getting from the iPhone at the table. So if you're able to create like a photo station with professional lighting and professional gear and be able to share images, high quality, well lit portraits, not just grip and grin, fun party shots, wearing funky hats, like you're able to share nice things. You know, I remember years ago, um, we were when, uh, actually when dad uh, was photographing one of, you know, one of the families that, you know, real wealthy family, you know, and he, the, you know, I remember his name was Big Jim Lambert. And he actually went up to dad and he goes, you know why I have you take these photos and deliver them to my guests right now? And my dad, and dad goes like, no, I don't know why. He goes, because what are you gonna give me that I am gonna appreciate? There's nothing you can buy me that's gonna be more valuable than a great picture with my wife. Honestly, I don't like to get dressed up. I like to fish. I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy. Yeah. But if I can make my wife happy with a beautiful portrait, you know, and that's what we're there for, right? Well, well circling back to the app, uh, there is an, uh, talk to me a little bit about the AI uh, technology oh. within the app, because so, uh, from, yeah. what I'm, from what I was seeing, uh, it, uh, the app also will check to see if eyes are open, check to see the time of day, the sorting features of the app. I mean, the, it, well, it, it's pretty well, incredible. So. Well, let's, let's face it, right? We're no longer in the days of film shooting 300, wedding, 300 images at an entire wedding. You know, we take 300 images before we leave the bride's room. You know, it's, you know, Mario on average will photograph anywhere between four and 5,000 images at a wedding. You know, I do, I, I do about half, but you know, we, uh, we won't get into that. Um, but to be able to automatically have the AI technology literally tell you all the pictures that the people's eyes are open, it, it's incredible. Like you're eliminating, you don't wanna show people pictures that aren't great, right? It just, it just reflects poorly on us as as craftsmen in what we do. Well, to follow up with what you're saying in there, um, one of the additional benefits that we plan on utilizing this app for uh, beyond just weddings and events is I would say our, our engagement sessions or our portrait sessions. You know, we handle things a little bit differently where we choose to edit files for sales consultations. And what that has done is that's allowed our sales to increase because now clients are viewing uh, retouched finished images. Now, after some collaboration and, and some thought going into this, if we connect at an engagement shoot, a tablet that is actually gonna be able for the clients to be able to tag their favorites from that shoot, we then can edit only the images that they liked of themselves and prep those images for the sales consultation. By well, one that, that would, for, in my opinion, that would save time, which is money. Um, you're only editing files that they like themselves. And, and I don't know if you've ever had this situation with your clients, but sometimes you might think that you picked the best image of, of your couple or a family, and that smile that looked awkward to you was a smile that they actually was of their child or was, was who they are. So uh, in our opinion, I think that is one invaluable facet. Well, well, that we you know use. what you're doing is you're, you're incorporating the client 
into the creation of the artwork that you're making for them. So being able to immediately after a shoot, not only is it gonna save you money in the editing, right? You're gonna get them excited about the next step. And, and really profitability in this, business, in this business is about educating your clients on what the next step is and guiding them to what it is they want. And they, wanna, they, they hired you for a reason to create something that they can't do on their own that's gonna go on the wall of their home and it's gonna last generations. Because honestly, we're, we're a fourth generation family and how many weddings have you done that dad did mom's wedding or abuelo did the grandmother's wedding? Yep. And you know, for us, we, we also do high volume schools and seniors. And one of the things that we realized is one, sales immediately after the session, the percentage rate went from 10% to 90% buy rate. And then when we were doing our locations and our portraits, we ended up we're, we're calling them down to like 20 images, retouching all of them, spending, you know, five to 10 bucks an image to get them done to hopefully sell. Now for a family portrait session, when you're doing 200 images, that's not very cost effective. Yep. So kind of goes back to the same concept of you're in Disney, you're gonna buy the you're gonna buy that picture. You know, they're still excited. You're, you're continuing that process. And now they're going to be seeing those photos. Everyone wants to see their photos immediately. However, you're adding value into the editing side of your business, which then is going to increase sales. So as far as business wise goes, this app is going to a increase profitability as well as sales for our clients. Well, it really comes down to the most important thing is excitement because when people are excited, they are going to invest more and talk about you more, right? Like I just finished this family portrait session and the photographer literally had a tablet with the images and had us pick our favorite 15 to 20 images before we left and set up an appointment for the following day to either Zoom meeting or come into the office. And then we had the opportunity now to have our editors make those selections that they loved the first ones that they see. So now at this point, final delivery workflow, it's done immediately. So the images are already retouched. It's literally file print and it takes the, it will take the sales consultation itself. It'll cut that down in time yep. and time is valuable. Yeah. And there's, there's one additional uh, fact of, of utilizing this app uh, for myself and that's in our personal lives. So I don't know if, if as professional photographers, you bring your, <laughs> you bring your cameras on your vacations, but, but I do for mine. And, and I just had a, I, would, I wouldn't call it an argument but uh, maybe more like it was I, a got, scolding. I, I was a scolding, was a scolding. Um, with my wife is we just recently did a trip and uh, we went through all the national parks and on the way home, um, probably 10 different memory cards of downloads. I forgot to download my last card. So, um, you know, I take a very, very high responsibility when I'm working with client work. However, when it's your personal life, you sometimes maybe not are not as uh, the shoemaker and the shoe story, whatever. That yeah. Is. So, so, you know, utilizing what, what I took as for me, what would benefit all professional photographers uh, and not even just professionals, maybe even all, all people in general, uh, utilizing Sony cameras and giving them the ability to link their phone every time you take pictures that are going to automatically get downloaded to a cloud. Cause I don't know if you're on vacation, you always have access to a laptop or a card reader. You know, this would guarantee the ability to not only upload your files to the cloud, save your, your memories, immediately show your family those photos, tag your favorites, organize them, create galleries that you can share with family while you're still on your vacation. Well, well think of- Who would want that? Right, well, think of it this way. You know, usually all families have a photographer, someone that's into photography, whether it's a birthday party or whether it's a family reunion or just a vacation that you're going with other families. So, you know, you know I hate to say it, but when you have that one guy doing those pictures, everybody wants to see those photos. They want to post those photos right away. So this gives the, you know, the Uncle Charlie, who's a, you know, loves photography, but maybe is a doctor or a lawyer, but this is just some, a passion of his. He's able to, at, that, at the, you know, the end of the Disney trip, say, you know what? Let me tag the favorite hundred. Here, I'm gonna send you a link right now, send you a link right now. And then everybody's sharing these images and they're being saved. I mean, so, I, I, yeah. I, think, I think we can agree that the possibilities of this app are endless and the benefits of it are, are impeccable. Um, tell me, Tom, uh, let them know how, where, where can they download this app and where will they be able to find that? Actually, Mario, it's really simple. You just go to your app store on either your iPad or your iPhone and you download Visual Story by Sony. 
Awesome. Well, thank you guys for listening. You guys have a great day. Take care.